Good morning and welcome to the hills of Maplewood. Ah, my friends, today I wanted to come to you in a, a little different and a unique way. I am out on the lake canoeing. I, uh, I enjoy being out canoeing on the lakes and, and uh, the scenery that's, that you see from being out on the lake rather than being up on the land and looking at the lakes and such. But as I came out this morning, I, I was a little nervous as I, as I ventured out here all by myself. Um, I still have a lot of respect for the water, thus the reason why I'm wearing my life vest and, and such and, and uh, being by yourself. Well, you always want to be cautious and, and such. But nonetheless, I'm out here and uh, enjoying uh, the beauty as, as God begins to uh, change some of the trees and the colors. Um, hopefully I'll be able to kind of give you a glimpse of that as, as uh, we canoe around here and such. But as I thought about being out here on the water, I thought of an, a familiar story, a familiar biblical story coming from the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 14, I believe. And of course, it's the story about uh, Jesus walking on the water. Um, he had just dismissed his disciples and had asked them to get into the boat and, and go to the other side. And, and uh, while he was alone on the shoreline, he went up on the mountainside and, and prayed by himself. And after he had been finished, he, uh, he was alone and, and uh, looked out upon the water and he could see that the, the disciples had, had moved out quite a ways from shore. And so then Jesus went out and uh, it's from that I want to share that story with you from that point where it reads like this. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. And when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified and they said, it's a ghost, they said. And he cried out. And they cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. And then Jesus said, Come. Then Peter got out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind... He was afraid and he began to sink, crying out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him and then said to him, You of little faith, why do you doubt? Why do you doubt? Now, I know that... Um, being out on the water, um, if I was to see Jesus approaching me and walking, I certainly hope that I would have the faith and the courage to step out of this canoe and walk towards him. But I think there's, a, there's more of a deeper meaning to that. There are many times in our lives when we become discouraged and fearful. And uh, we, we may think that we can accomplish um, what it is that's in front of us. And then when we begin to, to step out, uh, we get afraid and then withdraw and, and, and we begin to sink. But in this case, uh, Peter cried out, Lord, save me. And Jesus reached out, took his hand. Little faith. Sometimes it's hard for us to step out. Sometimes it's hard for us to, uh, to take the courage to, to do the uncertain things, um, to, to step out of the box, so to speak, and to, to uh, meet the needs that maybe God is placing before us. Whatever the case is, if God is seeking you out and is, is giving you that little nudge to say, come on, a step out of the boat, come to me, take the courage, have the faith, step out and enjoy the love and the assurance that God is with us in whatever we do. So my friends, 
from the hills of Maplewood, blessings to you on this day. I'm going to turn my camera around so that uh, you can enjoy some of God's beauty as, as I gently take you across the waters. God's peace, my friends.